Today's Still Mace Warrior partner is Become Stronger. We want to take the time to thank them for the offer that will be provided during this episode and for teaming up with the podcast to provide a better listening experience for you. You can find out more about Become Stronger at become-stronger.com. Alrighty, guys, Still Mace Warrior here. It's so early. I was telling, uh, okay, so how do you pronounce your name? Pink. Pink. All yeah, right. Pink McNally. Right on. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, how do you say that? <laughs> you know, like, I, I think, I think, like, every guest should have, like, the Facebook pronunciation yeah, gadget there on there, there because yeah. I'm yeah. always like, how do you say your name? Yeah. Like, yeah. every guest. All right. So, uh, we have, today we have uh, Pink McNally from Become Stronger. And, uh, yeah, uh, good morning. And, uh, we are going to talk about his war clubs and I actually want to talk about the pendants too. Awesome. So, cause yeah. those things are interesting. I want to yeah. know more about that too. I know there has to be a story behind that. Um, anyway, so he's fought in wildfire, uh, fires. He's worked in, uh, the back of ambulances. He's done jujitsu tournaments. He's done blacksmithing, obviously. And, uh, he also served as a combat engineer, correct? Yeah, still serving. Yep. Right on. All right yep. on. All right, guys. So let's get into this. Um, I'm actually really excited because his work clubs are awesome. So I think you should check them out. So tell me a little bit about your story, kind of what led you to start Become Stronger, and then kind of what led you to the base. And I think we were just discussing before we started recording that you're kind of more of an uh, enthusiast, but we'll still talk about that. Um, yeah. So go for yeah. it. Um, so... I guess we can start it like as far as as far as become stronger is concerned. There's a quote from a Lewis Lamore book. He wrote like 300 Western novels back in the 50s through like the 80s, and my dad turned me on to him. Like I think as a way to help me become a man. And uh, I like your mug, by the way. Uh, yeah. Um, there's a quote in one of the books, and it's it, it's just you were strong, become stronger. And I was like 13 years old when I read it and it just resonated with me. You know, I was like a chubby high school kid, you know, uh, <laughs> not strong at all, but I, I never forgot that quote. And then when I was, uh, uh, when I turned 20 and I started doing wildland firefighting and jujitsu and realized that I needed to be strong, that I was already like, I had some mental toughness, but physically I wasn't there. So I just had to, I had to build my body up and, um, uh, and I always kind of use that quote um, just in my mind. I never told anybody about it uh, to, to like fire me up a little bit. You know, like I'm a big reader and words have power. I, I firmly believe that. And uh, so, yeah, that's what, that's what I do. And um, as far as the become stronger business. So a friend of mine, a uh, professional fighter, Josh uh, Slipknot uh, Pfeiffer, so you'll see him on TV soon. That's an interesting yeah. name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a story behind that too. He uh he broke a he broke a mace um uh, from one of the big. I'm not going to mention the business, um, uh, but he broke one, and uh, from one of the bigger bigger mace businesses. They do a bunch of other stuff too, and he he knew I did metal work, so he was like, "Man, like, can you fix this? Well, it's made out of cast iron, so you can't fix it." And um, uh, I, but I knew I could design one better than that. So I, I took like, it took me about a year. Like it never left my mind. Wow. But, uh, and, and then finally the right, I was, I was doing some work out in the shop and I stumbled upon the right things to make it out of. And I started playing around and I came up with a design that's just, it's a lot stronger, um, than, than anything else out there. And, and I knew it would be. So then I just kind of, I was like in about a year ago, I started playing around, making them for my friends, having them test them out. Um, they're all into MMA and all that stuff. So I knew they'd beat the hell out of them. Like, <laughs> you know, and so I knew that'd be a good proving grounds and um, started slowly developing uh, my brand and the products and whatnot. Like the first few that I sold, like, super ugly <laughs> I wish I, I could I see a picture of them. them do what I wish I could see a picture yeah, of them I'll find a picture I know they're I, I was super proud of them at the time you know but uh and, and I didn't change as far as like 
the the overall design I didn't change, but the aesthetic look I changed up. Yeah. And it, now they just I'm I'm a metal artist and blacksmith, so like I I always geek out on that kind of stuff. And uh, so yeah, in January I fired up my website um, without like losing my mind. I figured all that stuff out and uh, was playing around with it. Um, got on Instagram, started doing it. Um, Instagram is insane. Like yeah. that's how we connected. Like it blows my mind. That's where 99% of my business comes from is Instagram. <laughs> and I never would have believed it. But so I fired my website up and then in July I got back from my three weeks of uh, training with my combat engineer unit and uh, my wife was pregnant. So, you know, being a responsible, responsible uh, man and husband, I was like, I'm doing this full time. So I went for it. And ever since then, July 5th is when I pulled the trigger and just started doing this full time for myself. And uh, it's going like crazy. I, I can't believe it. The support out there. I love you yeah. guys. It's insane. So yeah, I'm having a blast with it, learning stuff every day and uh, just having fun with it. So yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I can attest to that too. The, the mace community is incredible. So you don't call it a mace. Tell me why you call it a war club. Cause that's well, interesting. When, so when I first got started building these things, I was even more ignorant about them than I am now. Um, and like war club sounds cool, you know? And I knew that I just didn't want it. Like I knew that there were maces out there, out there and the people were building maces and I wanted to brand mine, like something a little more different, something memorable, you know, um, kind of stick in your brain a little bit. So I, uh, I just called them become stronger war clubs. Little did I know at the time, that there's a difference between a war between a mace and a club you know i learned that not all that long ago and there's a huge difference so now i'm building clubs too so like i was calling yeah it's crazy and uh so yeah i just i i thought it sounded cool you know um and it does like it's a little different people call them whatever the heck they want to call them it does it i don't care you know um I, I personally love that it's called a war club. Yeah. You good, know, when good. I swing that thing in public, they're like, what is that? I'm like, it's yeah. technically a maze, but it's called a war club. And they're yeah. like, I want one. Because yeah. that's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> like you're going absolutely. to war. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love that, like, that raw metal look. Like, when I, I was, uh, before I got started building these, I ran a blacksmith shop and I was doing metal artwork, like crazy stuff out of scrap iron. And it, it was all just raw. I never painted anything. I never did anything like that. I wanted you to be able to see everything. And um, so I just kind of kept that look, kept that aesthetic uh, with me. Because, like, there's too much precision, like, welded pretty stuff out there. Like, I, you know, I don't like it. Like, it's, it's got its place. But not everything has to be like that. Like, you can make stuff with attitude, you know. And, and people like it. I do, too. So. Yeah, 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 that's something I liked about your work club. It's the the I feel like it's it's handmade, so there's some art behind it. Yeah. It, it was interesting cuz I had uh, a podcast episode with uh Paul Widuto and he was talking about how he has a blacksmith over there in Norway and that he nice. makes uh like custom maces and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's and cool. Cuz I had asked him about it. And yeah. uh so I thought it was just so awesome that I found you right after that episode. Yeah. Nice. And, and then I got, you know, my hands on one, like, I get it now. I get that yeah. the whole, yeah. yeah, like a mace can be a piece of art, right? Yeah. And like, you know, like kind of give it a little soul too, you know, like that's like, give it a personality, give it, I don't know. When I'm, when I'm making them, like I'm thinking about like the customer who ordered them. Cause like, I kind of get to know people a little bit through the messages back and forth. And then, you know, you can stalk their Instagram and all that stuff. So you can kind of get an idea of, of who they are. And that's awesome. Like that motivates the hell out of me. So like, I just, I don't know. It just kind of like inanimate objects can have a certain feeling to them, you know? Well, and, and, and you, so. you give them that feeling because you allow customers or your clients to add 
some words on there. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it's cool that you mention, you know, uh, you are stronger, become stronger, that uh -huh. those, those words resonated with you, but now you're yeah. allowing us yeah. to put words that resonate with us at an individual level. So yeah, I think that's awesome about your work club. You want to talk a little bit about the a little patch or what do you call that? Yeah, I, I call it like a motivation plate or, or uh, mm -hmm. plaque or, or whatever. I, I don't know. I just had the idea one day um, right along. Yeah. It was about the same time I had the idea for the pendants as well. Um, they're like, like, like you said, like those words, you were strong, become stronger, resonate with me, you know? And then there's a bunch of other like little phrases and stuff that like fire me up and like, can help get me through some really bad experiences and bad, you know, just hard times. Right. And, um, and I, I knew I couldn't be the only one. And I knew that there were like guy, people like us, like that are, that are very physical and, and, that, uh, but also I'd like to think we're pretty intellectual kind of, you know, <laughs> uh, like words do have power and I, and different words mean different things for people. And I just wanted to give that, um uh, be able to g give that as an option like i stand do you know the uh what the heck is it it's the man in the arena speech by uh, theodore roosevelt like it's not it's the it's not the critic who counts it's the man in the arena like mm -hmm. it's long i had no idea how long it was until i stamped it into a piece of metal like it's paragraphs Mm -hmm. But that's what the guy wanted, you know, and, and I gave it to him. Now he paid for it. <laughs> uh, it looked incredible. Um, so, cause and that's what resonates with him. He's, he's uh, in the army with me, badass human being. And like that speech is what he, he just loves it, you know, and uh, it's kind of what helps define him as a man and holds him to on a higher, he, he puts himself on a, on a, higher level you know like makes himself rise to that occasion and to to those words so i don't know i just i just wanted to wanted to do that for people and nobody else was doing it you know and that's and that's just cool like custom it's hard to mass produce is shit can i say that yeah go well, for it is <laughs> it, everywhere and i and i despise it not everything can be handmade you know walmart has its place i get it but we need more personal stuff, more personalized stuff in our lives. I think stuff that means something to you, you know, and, and that's what I wanted to give to people. So, yeah. 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 So definitely check out his war clubs because I, I just love, I love that little patch of words that yeah. you allow us to add whatever we yeah. want on there. Um, that's really awesome. Okay. So let's talk about the pendants. Yeah. Um, did you start with pendants and then it moved on to war clubs or did it no. just happen at the same time? It kind of just all like I'm always tinkering with metal, you know, and like always thinking. Um, so I just uh, I just had an idea one day. I saw it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's not really an original idea, but I, I made it my own. So I saw like all they are, folks, <laughs> it, it's, it's a washer. So I've got one. Mine says uh, is the first one I ever made. It says rise and grind on it. Um, I made this for it. three. Uh, there's only three like this um, that I made. And, uh, one for me and then for two of my friends that were kind of going through some, some bad times and needed some motivation. Words have power. So, um, but it's two washers. And I stamp out the words, whatever phrase they want on them. And then I weld them together. I don't know if you can see it, but I weld them together to give it like That's that rugged. Right that rough look and, and you, it's you thicker. It yeah it's got so it's got some heft to it too um i've had like people put them on keychains they put put them on whatever they want to put them on um and i to be honest with you like i thought these would sell like hotcakes but i end up giving more away than anything like to friends of mine to customers that like just that i that i talk to and that like they they kind of it goes a little deeper than just a, a customer um, relationship. Like what they say something or doing something in life that speaks to me. So I'll, I'll send them one. Um, I've given a bunch of way to different, like to kids that come up to my booths. 
that because I've said I've supposed at uh, jujitsu tournaments and whatnot, and uh, you know I'm a sucker, so <laughs> some way. And uh, yeah, it's good stuff. So I've used them for fundraisers too. Um, of one of my training partners, he had uh, he had oral cancer, just mm-hmm. a freak deal, not from chewing or anything. He just got it somehow, and. Uh, so I sent out um, a bunch of messages on Facebook to the jiu-jitsu community, and uh, I made some that said, like, jiu-jitsu for life, then Brazilian jiu-jitsu on the back, made them just like I do do uh, with all the others, and then sold them for 20 bucks each, and then that went directly to him and his family while he was going through that, and now he's all healed up. So it's great. Hey. Now we beat the crap out of each other two nights. Um, <laughs> ah, that's perfect. Up, so. That's perfect. Yeah. But yeah, I I don't know. Like I love I I love them just as much um, as the war clubs. Like they're just a little something else to help get people off the couch, keep people motivated. Yeah. So, yeah. I love that they have like the same look. You know, the yeah. same. I, I call it like a grungy yeah. look. Yes. Exactly. It's funny. Like they match. Yeah. So if you're like you you're, you're using like your war club, you and you're wearing the pendant, yeah. it just makes sense. Like the branding yeah. there. Yeah. Like it's yeah. weird. Yeah. So, I mean, I like that about it because yeah, I've seen people make those washers and I've, I've seen them, but they're just so, like you said, very perfect. Yeah. And I think I've seen like Michael's or like art stores, like sell yeah. like the little, like, yeah, I don't even like, know what they're like, called, yeah. But, yeah. but yours just look killer. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know. I'm going to keep making them, you know, um, especially when it's super cold or super hot outside. I set up in my, in my kitchen, my wife hates it <laughs> and I'll stamp out like 40 or 50 in a day. And then when the weather gets better, I'll go weld them all up and, and, um, and give them that attitude. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep all things metal, you know, as I like playing around with it. Like I want to take some jewelry making classes and, uh, and keep learning because I want to make like some, not really fancier stuff. I want them to keep keep the same style, but uh, use different material and different. Uh, just do always learning, you know. Just do different stuff with it. So yeah, get creative, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Wow. So you mentioned clubs. So you said you're you're gonna are. Did you already start making clubs? Yeah. Like You mean the shorter ones? The shorter, like the shorter ones. Work? Yeah, because yeah. I was gonna say they're gonna be like little mini work clubs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are, and that's what I called them at first. And then, like, everybody's like, no, that's a club. And I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Just buy one, like, and call it whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you've actually got his logo right there. Uh, uh, Matt. Uh, no. Oh, that one. Not Rick, the one on the. Um, yeah. That strength. Yeah. Yep. That Burberry. Uh huh. He, uh, I believe it was, was Matt was the one that commissioned me uh, to make him. And it blew my mind because he was just like, I want them 15 pounds, I want them loadable, and I want them 28 inches long. I'm like, you want the handle 28 inches long? It's like, no, the whole thing, 28 inches. Like, oh, okie dokie. <laughs> so that was a challenge. Like, now it's easy, but it's always harder to, you know, when you're just starting the design process and whatnot. Um, so I made them, and then I've sent, since, uh, sent a couple down to Florida. Um, to uh to Mavericks Field House down in uh down in Florida, and so we've got uh, a couple on the uh, got four on the East Coast now. Wow. So wow. yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. The people love them. I play around with them a little bit right now. I'm just kind of focusing on on the more traditional mace work as far as my own workout goes. Like I'll I'll play with the clubs. You know, I got time. I can do that whenever. But right now, I just want to focus with these. Um, with the maces so yeah yeah so let's talk a little bit about your background with like i know you do jujitsu uh-huh. right yeah. that's like your main yes, thing ma'am. let's yep. talk about how you use the war clubs like on in your okay. own routines and stuff yeah so i do jujitsu and i fought forest fire wildfires for years was wildland firefighter so my shoulders are beat to hell you know just from life and uh so I, I, uh, I do them just right as of right now for, for shoulder mobility, uh, just to loosen my shoulders up because this has helped working out with them has helped tremendously. It's, I, I can't hardly believe it. Like they used to ache all the time and, um, and now they don't, you know, they're still, my shoulders are still super tight, but I'm, I'm constantly improving that. And, and the war club, 
is just such a and the and the, the mace the war club is just such a fun way to to work on that work on mobility like i hate stretching you know like i'll force myself to do yoga about once a week and, and i hate it it's good for you i get it but i don't like it but doing this is is uh it's just so much fun. I come to, I've got my own little jujitsu gym where I teach guys. So I've got plenty of space and, uh, come down here. Nobody can watch me mess it up or do anything like that. And I just, and I train with them, especially right before, uh, right before, uh, I have class, I teach class two nights a week. So I'll take about 15, 20 minutes before my guys show up and, uh, and just start working on shoulder mobility, get my shoulders loose before, before my guys try to, try to break my arms you know <laughs> so that's yeah fantastic. that's that's where i'm at now and i do a little flow work too with them um just for fun you know like that's interesting it's crazy like at first when i started people i started watching people do this i didn't know what to think but then i tried it myself like that's cool like and i get it now you know um it's it's just another just another tool for your toolbox. It's just another thing you can do with them. And that's awesome. Right. So, yeah. Right. But, yeah. 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 No, who, who's your inspiration for flow? Um, I don't really like, I don't really have one. You like, just go through I, Instagram and you're like, hmm. Yeah. Like, I, so I don't, with me, I've always been like, especially with that kind of stuff. Now, like with the, with the 360s and the 10 and 2s, like I'll geek out like a little bit on, on watching you know technique videos and whatnot from mr mace man and all that stuff um but as far as the flow like i just kind of like doing my own thing you know just like whatever the mace tells me to do and whatever my body wants to do i'll just kind of play around with it i don't i don't want to mimic anybody um i'm sure i am but i just kind of want my body to just move itself and just to see see what happens and uh, you know like it's just like jujitsu it's your own thing like you can learn how to do it but then you make it your own and and that's that's uh that's what i'm trying to do so yeah. right on yeah I, I love that i love that that you just it's the same thing with like your blast the, your blacksmithing right you're yeah. like doing your own thing getting yeah. creative with the mace in your own way mm -hmm. that's sure. really cool yeah. yeah so i'm actually really excited about just seeing you grow because I feel like you already are right. Like how has like yeah. it been, like you said, you started in January mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Yeah. This wow. year's when I like, um, oh, wow. so I made, I made a few prototypes. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go grab the first, the first war club I ever made. <laughs> um, it's, it's here in the gym and it's awesome. I'm never going to get rid of it. Right uh, on. So I made it that made that one about two years ago. So like, I was just, I was like, I can do this part time and I can grow it until it's, it's a full time business. And that kind of worked, but I was, I was doing a bunch of, I, I moved back home, um, quit my day job, moved back home a few years ago and took over a blacksmith shop, joined the army, got married, life happens. It's crazy. And, um, and then, so I was doing a bunch of day work for different ranches and stuff like that and kind of hating life. So I just, uh, I just made, made up my mind that I was going to do that. I business wasn't there for me to start doing this full time, but the moment I started doing it full time, it blew up. Like it's, it's insane. Like you've got that quote, may the universe always flow, flow with you. Flow with you. Yeah. yeah. Like that's kind of what I felt like happened with me. Like it just, it just fucking like took off <laughs> without even me doing, I didn't do anything different, like anything different. And, and uh, I started posting more on Instagram a little bit more, but that's about it. But like my mindset changed. And so I, I took it from having like there, I don't have a plan B now, like, and I don't want one. Like I will make this work. If the worst happens, like I own a bunch of metalworking equipment, I can build whatever the hell I want. You know, so I can, I can always change it up, but, uh, but yeah, it's just taken off. It's it, it just, it, since July, it's insane. And, and, and it, since then I've tried to, um, uh, I've really tried to study the mace and like, 
because I don't want to fake it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm good at building them. I, I like, I'd put mine up against anybody else's on the market. But I, I want, I want to be an expert at moving with them as well. And um, that's just gonna, that's gonna take years. You know, like it just will. Like, and I'm gonna have a hell of a lot of fun doing it. I'm in no hurry. But uh, yeah, just gonna continue to meet new people and have fun with it. So yeah. Right on. All right. So your war club is actually loadable, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's yeah. talk a little bit about like it being loadable and like what's the correct way of filling it up? Because I had no clue that your your yep. was like loadable, and then I figured it out, and then I yeah. was like, how do you load it up? For listeners. See, that's, yeah, absolutely. That's the problem with me. Like. I assume too many things like <laughs> I, uh, I made it and I was just like, well, obviously it's loadable. You know what I mean? But I don't, I'm getting better at taking the time and explaining stuff to folks. But I was, I was for all my, for all my customers that bought one in the past that I didn't really explain this stuff to, I'm sorry. Like <laughs> nothing personal. I just, yeah, it just happens. So um, I actually have one right here. So and this is the one is this is a, a bottom loading one um like like the one that i sent you i've since changed them since changed them up and i've started putting them on the on the <laughs> on, this is the top essentially so i've started putting them up here it kind of depends on um because i still make these and send them to a bunch of uh mma fighters and jujitsu guys that you know they're they're uh dudes that want to slam them up against a tire so if that's what they want to do plus some of the traditional work then i'll put the loading thing on the bottom that way uh so i'll put it right right here this one's going oh, to a muay thai fighter so that's why it's like that right. uh, that way this is a this is a little more protected uh, you know it's hitting it against a tire if you drop it it won't break but I might, you know, it's just smart to protect it like that. But all you do is just pull the bolt out. Um, and this one I need to cut down. I left it way too long. But what I do is, uh, like, they sell cartons of steel BBs at Walmart. Like, mm. like milk. Like, they're in the shape of a milk carton. And you can go and buy them. And so that thing's got a spout. You can just dump them right in. and uh, Or you can get a funnel. And that's uh, – that's a five eighths inch hole. So it's a pretty big damn hole. Like you can, you know, I, I made them smaller in the past and it didn't work very well. It's just kind of a pain in the butt for folks. So I bought, uh, bought bigger bolts and, uh, bigger nuts and, and I'm using these now. Uh, and it works a heck of a lot better. I actually had one guy that I sold him, sold a, a loadable club just like this to, uh, it's 15 pounds empty. He filled it with 30 pounds, Got it up to 30 pounds uh, just with steel BBs. But if you use lead shot, lead is so much heavier than steel. And it's kind of it's kind of a pain to get. But if you go to like a reloading store or gun, gun shop, they can – Amazon, you know. Uh, yeah. You can get one of these things up to like 35 to 50 pounds. Like – Wow. You just could. You know, I, I fit a 25-pound bag of lead shot into one of these things. And they brought it up to 40 and uh, it kicked my butt. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bad. So um, I just wanted, my whole thing is like, this is my business and I want to make money with it. I want to grow this business and like have it be my life, you know, raise right. a family on it and all that stuff. But people work damn hard for their money. And, um, and, you know, most of us, we don't have a heck of a lot of room in our home gyms or whatever. And we don't want to be lugging around uh, a bunch of equipment. So uh, this is just a little more user friendly. You know, um, it just it's more more bang for your buck. For It's cheaper on shipping this way for, and, you know, and I so my whole thing is for right for less than one hundred dollars you can buy a club that doesn't include shipping because shipping can be outrageous, but that, right. I can't help that. Um, but you can buy a club for me for 75 bucks, fill it full of lead shot for less than, less than $25. And then for a hundred dollars, you've got a tool that you're never really going to outgrow. You know, like you're always going to like, you'll always be able to use it and you can put however much weight in it. 
you and be like your training partners can can have your own set weights that you use in it and it's just so it saves you money in the long it might be like hurting my business but i i don't think so like right. yeah, it just gives people more options and uh and i and that's you know like i said we work hard for our money and i respect that so i i want to give people like a high quality product that you can use you know that's got multiple weights just different right. options. so yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's not too many loadable options for maces. Um, yeah. There's probably like two other companies I know. But, yeah. um, y you know, I think coming from, in my, you know, as in my perspective, in my, my opinion, coming from buying maces that are like mass produced for so long. That's yeah. why when I got this, uh, this war club, I'm like, uh, what is the screw? What do you do with yeah. it? You know, yeah, and most people sure. are going to come from yeah. that. Yeah, you know, you're right. And that that's my ignorance or arrogance. Like, I don't know. Like, I should have. I, I just didn't even think about it. I was like, yeah, she's going to get it. <laughs> and I <laughs> sent it off. And then, you know, on to the next one. And, and didn't even think. And I need to, I, as a business owner, I need to get better at that. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm working on it. You know, I'm, I'm developing a uh, kind of a... Uh, an instruction manual that I'm going to send along with them, like how to care for your war club and uh, what to expect with it and all that stuff. Just, and it's going to, I should have done it months ago, but it's just going to be a little, you know, have a couple pictures on it and just some, some frequently asked questions like how to load them. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Always improving, <laughs> always trying to <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make, yeah. make it better for folks. So yeah. Yeah. Or, or just put it on your website too. I mean, yeah, for nice. sure. For sure. Whatever. So, I, I ain't giving you, I ain't giving you shit. I'm just saying. No, like, no. I, this is stuff. I, I was kind of dumb on that part too. I was yeah. like, what do you do with this? Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, it was my wife that brought it up. She was just like, do you even explain it to people? Like, oh, people will get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's not a good, you know, I, that's not good. I need to, I, I've changed that attitude, you know, she, it, but I didn't never even thought about it. You know, I'm just so excited to be in the shop and building them for folks. And uh, the, like, the how and the why that I do things the way I do them, like, I just assume people will know. And that's stupid. Yeah. So, yeah. It, you know what? What else? It's cool that, uh, that you mentioned within this podcast episode, the whole you can actually slam them on the tires. Mm -hmm. Cause I was kind of like, I had the opposite idea for some reason. Yeah. I thought that if I slammed the shit on a tire, uh, I'm gonna break it. Cause yeah. I just had this thing like, oh, it's a piece of art. So I don't yeah. wanna like, yeah, I don't wanna sure. damage it, right? Yeah. That's like my initial like thought. Yeah, it'll give it more character, you know, <laughs> like. Like, yeah, that, that's what I love about it. Um, yeah, you can, I made them pretty much indestructible. Um, I, I've, uh, I need to get better videos of it, but like I've, I've t taken one of those 15 pound maces and I've broken, uh, busted up pieces of half inch cast iron. Uh, and, uh, just to show folks that like cast iron is brittle, you know, if you drop it, it, there's a good chance it'll break. That's just all there is to it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And mine, I designed to where, uh, to where like it won't break. It's all one unit. Every piece is tied together. Like there, there's, there's several pieces, but I welded them all together to where it's. You would have to do something awesome to break that thing. Like, <laughs> probably gonna get hurt doing yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> something bad is gonna happen. <laughs> um, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it, please. Um, but yeah, there, and that's just the way I designed them. Cause after that's what, that was the whole motivation for me to start building them in the first place was that, was that broken one. Um, and that challenge that, uh, of trying to, trying to improve upon that product. And this is my answer to it. And I know there's other folks that are doing really good stuff out there, but I'm one of the few that, uh, that you can use for tire work as well. Um, uh, with with no fear of of breaking it um so yeah that's just just what i did you know right on so yeah yeah and i mean for listeners i recommend that that you order war club because one of the things that mr mace man had mentioned to me personally he was like you need to try all sorts of maces like with long handles short handles yeah. like 
try them all, you know, yeah. don't, don't get stuck with like one mace. And I think I was getting stuck with that standard mass produced mace for so yeah. long that when I got your war club, it was like a whole nother beast. I was like, yeah. Whoa, this feels like crazy good and different. Right. Yeah, so, sure. I mean, try different maces yeah. um, and don't, don't stick with just the one. Um, I think, I think what makes yours different too, is it's not rounded at the head. Yeah. It's more like a capsule looking. Yeah, yeah, head. like a pill, kind of. Yeah, like a pill. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what you'd call it, but it reminds yeah. me of like a pill. And I think that's yeah. what I liked about it too. But I mean, just that, just the shape in itself, I think it makes the swing feel a lot different. Yeah. Maybe like 360s yeah. or the 10 That's That's interesting. Because to be honest with you, I've never, like, the only mace I've ever swung has have been my own, you know, like, because I've never. <laughs> I, I live way out in the country. Like, people don't have maces out here, you know? Like, you right, should see right. the looks I get when I'm explaining to the folks around here what the hell I'm doing for business. It's pretty <laughs> funny. Uh, but uh, so I don't, I don't have that. I just – that other experience. And I'd like to get it. I need to swing like what Mr. Mace Man said to you. I, I want that too so I can figure out what works good uh, – what feels good what other companies are doing different you know what i think i can continue to prove improve upon i do uh, like another thing that i'm doing is offering two different handle diameters too all so right I've got the fat grip and i've got the narrow grip and i've been trying to get people like grip strength is super important like it just in life in general yeah. so i've been yeah. trying to market and uh convince people to get the fat grip uh war clubs like it's a whole different ball game than the narrow ones. It'll smoke your forearms, but in a good way, you know? Um, so yeah, like that's what I, I, I was at a gym recently showing, showing my war clubs off and this girl who's like, she's a badass, but like even the narrow grip ones were like smoking her grip and she, mm -hmm. you know, like, she's a fighter. Like you've got to have strong grip strength. So I'm like, well, what does that tip? say to you about your workout regimen like what do you need to work on like because it's not my product it's it's your your own strength that you need to improve right so, uh, that's that's why i've been trying to uh trying to market the fat grip ones more okay i missed that lovely. i completely missed that i didn't yeah. know that you could um you yep. know, get it thicker uh-huh yeah so like the one i sent you is the narrow one narrower diameter one it's like it's an inch and a quarter uh the one the fat ones are inch and a half and then i've got some even bigger ones that are inch and five eighths which those are monsters i don't like haven't really brought them that <laughs> <out> much <laughs> i'm going to but baby steps and uh but yeah so everybody um all the ones i've been making have been the fat grip ones and and it's about the same diameter as like your typical kettlebell handle like good quality kettlebell you know not walmart but like a good one right um it's just the same diameter as that so it'll feels the same you know like it's not yeah i don't know right it's on. good shit so right on so listeners if you want grip strength get the thicker one yeah order what what was it inch wise or yeah, inch and a half in diameter um yeah i call it the fat grip handle um i, I charge just a little bit more because the, the material is more expensive but i think yeah it's like five dollars i add on five bucks that's what you want so that's still cheap that's still ridiculously cheap i think uh everyone should get one i mean your prices too are super affordable i mean and for yeah. custom yeah i don't know i think your shit's worth more than that but you know. thank you like I, <laughs> just to be honest yeah i appreciate that i and i've thought uh, to be honest with you i've thought about raising my prices but we work hard for money and trust me like i work hard making these things but i'm making money i'm making a living with with my price set where it's at you know and i'm not i'm in it for the long haul um I'm, this isn't a get rich quick deal for me um so if I'm sure someday as, as the, as the price of metal goes up, I'll have to raise my prices. That's right. all. There is to it. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, cause I can bust my ass in the shop and I can knock out two or three in a long day. And, uh, and you know, I, I 
I just feel like I'm earning my money and I'm helping people out too. So, right. Yeah. So now before we, we, we stop this podcast, can yeah. you, uh, customize the, the head size too? Yeah. Or yeah. Okay. So that's a little more difficult because okay. the, the, when we're talking about weight, you know what I mean? Like, so like on your typical fat grip, uh, fat grip 15 pound loadable club the body the head is seven inches long you know uh, then you add on the handle and that's what it has to be for like the if you, if you want a shorter handle then i can add more to the head if that makes sense because yeah. we got to keep the weight right around 15 pounds i don't want all of you people bitching if you get like a 16 pound club or well that has it. So that's just a bonus <laughs> It's just a bonus. You're welcome. Uh, but it be, like if it, if it comes in at like 14 pounds, like I, I don't want that. Um, right. I, I, I try to be as close on with the weight as I can. So yes and no, you know, I can play around with it, but that's just kind of hard to do. Um, but we can, yeah, I mean, it's doable. Anything's doable, but it might mean more time in the shop for me, which is yeah. that's what I do for a living. So, all yeah. right. I just had to ask. So, what can yeah. we expect from uh, Become Stronger in the next couple of months or the year? Um, so, in the next couple of months, I'm going to be offering some battle rope, some of those like battle ropes, actually. Ooh. If everything works out all right, I probably shouldn't even be mentioning it. But I've got, I know people, and um, it'll be like some really high quality high high quality stuff if i can make this happen made in america wow um, small, another small business um so there's that i want to offer that and then um i've got some other designs for like some pull-up bars that i want to start building that i think that are just different and i think would smoke people like in a very i love pull-ups that's how i got stronger like way back in the day i could only do like three pull-ups and I was a wildland firefighter, so I thought I was a badass. <laughs> and that's unacceptable, so I just started, I started cranking them out every day. Right. Uh, yeah. But uh, just you'll see my quality go up um, even more. Um, the, the same look will be there, but, like, uh, I'll start turning them out faster. The wait time right now is about two weeks um, just because it is what it is. I, right. I'm a one-man show right now. Uh, I, and that's something people should know. Yeah. So go yeah. ahead and repeat that. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> it's just me in the shop and shipping everything, and uh, and we're getting ready to have a baby, our first our first uh, baby in November. So congrats. Thank you. I'm losing my mind. I'm freaking out. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. But uh, so yeah, so what better time to start a full time business uh, than than right before a major life changing event? Right. So, yeah, um, you'll just, you guys will just see, uh, just keep seeing me. Um, you'll probably see more of my face on there. Uh, I hate taking selfies and all that stuff, but I'll probably start doing that a little bit more, like trying to brand myself because I've got, we live out on my wife's farm and I've got, uh, we've got plans. I want to turn part of that into kind of like a, a, a camp for like athletes and whatnot, Ooh. professional fighters, just athletes of all sorts to like, we live way out in the hills. There's no distractions, and I want I want to offer that to other people. Um, so that's become stronger will help me get to that point uh, to where I can where I can do that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, just yeah, I'll continue to grow just like you are, and just like all of uh, all your listeners and watchers and all that stuff, and just like life is freaking awesome. I, I love yeah. how everything's going, and I just want to. Yeah, just inspire people to get off the damn couch and, and make stuff happen. So Hell yeah. 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 And, and you know, that's something that I've noticed over the months. Like I'll follow a few people and I just see them growing. Yeah. Um, and it's that's what's cool about Instagram. You just see them growing and growing, yeah. like in their maze training and just like yeah. just with you with building, you know, maces or yeah. war club. Yeah. It's really cool to watch people grow. Yeah. For um, sure. So where can people find you online? Uh, go ahead and mention the all your social yeah. media. So you can uh, find my website is uh, become-stronger.com. Um, you can find me on Instagram at uh, just 
become stronger was taken and i'm still a little pissed off about that but that's <laughs> it's become under underscore underscore stronger underscore like that's just right, type right. of become stronger or war quotes you'll find yeah, me yeah. yeah and yeah. um you know like uh Hank mcnally i'm on facebook and all that stuff shoot me a message i uh, i try to i try to have as much one-on-one -on -one interaction as i can with my customers um uh, to make sure we're on the same page i've only messed up one order um and i want to keep it that way because that all was right. embarrassing as hell and i fixed it like we got it taken care of but doug i'm sorry i'm still it still bugs me that i did that shout so, out uh, <laughs> i still try to uh, i try i try to visit with people and uh just you know like like this is my business, but there, there's it's me behind it. It's my name, and if if like your name means everything, you know what I mean. Like right. if you start putting out crap content, people aren't gonna pay attention. You know, if my products aren't they go to if they go to hell, then you know, then that's huge. That's that's my livelihood. So yeah, I like I want everything to stay stay gold with that. That's why I stake my name to this stuff. Right on. Yeah yeah right so find me you know yeah we'll talk yeah. Find become stronger um yeah, i'll go absolutely. ahead and i'll add the links uh below okay. so this is usually in a blog post so they'll be below or on youtube um nice. if you're listening to it through a podcast you can go to stillmacewarrior.com or you can go directly to his website which is become dash stronger.com nice right yeah yeah all right well Thank you for, for uh, saying yes. I'm always really surprised that everyone's like, hell yeah, I want to be on your podcast. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you. Don't I mean, be surprised. You're doing some awesome shit. Like, <laughs> you know, I guarantee you, you're motivating the hell out of people. I Especially hope so. like women to get out there and like, and, and, and move their, move with weight, you know, right. like the weight room is super intimidating for everybody anyway. And yeah. like, what you're doing is such an awesome way to get active. And be physical. Yeah. I hope I'm reaching women. Cause that's kind of yeah. like my target. Yeah. But I sure. know there's more men in the market. So hopefully yeah. we get more women swinging maces and working on their booty. Right. Yeah. That, I yeah. think that's what there Kelly said in the past podcast. She said, yeah. I was working on their ass and like, come on, swing a mace. Yeah. There you go. Be a get it. woman. Get it. It's just like maces are like, to me, they're like the new kettlebell. Like yes. the kettlebell was super trendy for a while, and uh, now it's kind of back to just to the guys that it, the the men and women that use it that know it works. It's another tool, you know. And uh, the mace is like that. I don't think it'll be ever quite as trendy, but we don't need it to be, you know. Yeah. Like we'll just slow organically build the community. We don't need Dollar General to sell maces. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. That would so, be a nightmare. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Let's yeah. not do that. All no, right. All. Well, thank you for, for saying yes again. Uh, and yeah, may the universe you. always flow with you. Yeah. Yeah. Right absolutely. On. You too.